Hi guys, this is Vidas and Usha and let's start uh, part um, 30th of Ask Vidas and Usha podcast. Today's question was sent by Robert and he would like to become a world-class organist. Um, can we help him, Osha? Well, I think we can, but you know, he need to help himself as well. Right. So, um, what's the first step in order to to get on track of becoming a world class organist? Definitely, you have to play very well. First of all, let's let's clarify what what do you mean? What does he probably mean? World class. What is world class? Probably, you know, touring the world with organ recitals. I assume. Yeah, twice the globe if per year, like Gibove. Or Olivia Latri. Or, um, or uh, Cameron Car- Carpenter. Sure. Yeah. Well, for this, definitely, I think you have to have, you know, international reputation. And in order to build it, you know, you probably have to get a degree. Mm, win some competitions. Yes. Mm-hmm. And definitely play very, very well. So I remember Robert asked earlier that he cannot find time to practice and how, you know, how, how is it possible to find time to practice. So definitely if you want to become a world-class organist, you must practice every day. It's, it's given, right? It's, sure. it's not, not even a question. Practice today or not practice today. Yes. Even if you don't have time today to practice, you practice. If, sure. you, if you have this goal, world-class organist. Uh, but this is very audacious goal, uh, sort of, sort of, um, I want to go to the moon, right? Yes. It reminds me of, of this. Or I want to fly across the sun. That's yes. great. I want to do this too. And, um, but you see, every great journey starts with one step, first step. Yes. And uh, what would that first step would be, Osha? today for him well i don't know you know at what level he is already mm-hmm. so it would be hard to tell but actually for me it's more important what i think about myself you know as an organist than not what the world thinks about me because you know if i'm feel confidence about myself i feel good about it and i don't have you know for the world to <laughs> acknowledge me exactly and um Sometimes people uh, have this goal to be, a, you know, world famous and tour the world and and uh, play in uh, multiple different uh, famous recital halls and cathedrals. Mm, I don't know why it's it's so you know it's such it's such a goal that they have to have it. Maybe maybe they would be happy to to. To, just to play well and to have exposure to play different organs at first, right? Sure. Not necessarily like like to play at Notre Dame in Paris or, or St. Paul's Cathedral in London, right? Mm, or tour the world. Uh, because for starters, it's it has to have a, a meaning for you, right? It, this type of goal and... Not necessarily if you have to be famous, right? It sounds like Robert wants to be famous, right? Yes. Uh, World class organist, right? To be on the, on the, you know, on every organ magazine and and, um, you know, that's that's great goal. That's I, I'm not criticizing this, but maybe for starters maybe maybe it's not for him right now right well i don't know how well he is you know at his performance so it's really hard to tell but anyway i think you know when i think about life of these all famous organists i think this is a hard way actually to live it because is it is you know to give performances all over the place and you know it's so time and energy consuming exactly it's really a very hard way for example for example if you want to live like a world-class organist touring the world so uh, every week 
you would have to play at least one recital or even two. Sure. Right? So could you imagine yourself doing two recitals per week every year? Yes, and, you know, think about your personal life. If you have a family, for example, what do they say about yes. it? traveling uh, the globe, uh, could they travel with you? Maybe sometimes, of course, but not definitely not always. Sure. Right. Um, so, in order in order to, to know that this goal is exactly for you or not for other people, you have to feel the taste of this, of this life, right? So maybe, maybe, first of all, you have to be really good, right? In yes, order to be invited definitely. to play someplace. But, but it's not too difficult to get a recital today. You have so many friends on social media who are organists, right? And you can uh, develop great uh, relationship with them and help them first and then uh, send them samples of, of your performances, right? And if they like them, you might ask them to, to invite them, invite you to their place to play, right? Or you could uh, do an exchange, right? You invite to your yes. church and they will invite you to your to their place right sure that's probably one of the easiest ways the to easiest do. yeah but it's a win win situation so in order to to feel a taste of this life it's, if it's really for you just uh, schedule five or 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 10 recitals right uh, this way and see if you are not really tired of sure. this if it's really for you because uh, yes you could you know get a lot of recitals playing uh, different churches in many countries but remember they are not always um, lucrative they are not always uh, paid recitals sure that's often the problem now yeah in some countries it's it's mostly never paid right you just uh, uh, you just play for the exposure and, and interesting organs and if if you are okay with this you have to ask yourself if you can afford it, right? So you have to have another stream of maybe income to sure, do this, of course. to play for you, for fun. I don't think that even one organist in the world lives only from, you know, making a recital. Mm -hmm. So you have to have either position at church or you have to teach, you know, or do... Or you have to sell uh, sell merchandise in addition sure. to, uh, like uh, like, your own performances... You're, you're selling yourself, right? When you when you perform, uh, you sell um, CDs, DVDs of your performances. You sell uh, T-shirts. You sell different type of you know things in order to support this, mm, because otherwise, you know, the fees for organ recitals uh, are not always great, right? Sure. To to be worth the trouble of traveling and and staying overnight and, and doing this regularly. Yes. Okay. So Robert, first of all, think about if you really really need this. If you if it's for you this type of goal and and you will uh, maybe benefit from just trying trying to have you know a few recitals scheduled this way. Um, and and then you will find out if it's for you. But first, remember, you have to be really, really good. Yes. You have to be flawless in order for people to invite you, right? And um, and it all starts with today, right? If if you can practice today and become better today than yesterday, then um, probably you're on the right track. Can we help people like Robert even further with our um, total, total Organist program? Yes, I hope so. We have a lot of trainings, right, uh, which which help them to achieve their dreams, uh, you know, in any area of organ playing and with technique, virtuoso playing, pedal technique, improvisation, repertoire. So right now we have what uh, one month uh, free trial, right? Yes, yeah, so of our total organist. Total organist. Program. So people who who joined this um, say that it's so comprehensive, and they find uh, you know 
what they need and we're glad to be able to help them grow uh, as an organist every day. So please uh, send uh, us your questions and of course uh, check out Total Organist at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. This was Vidas. And Dosha. And remember when you practice. Miracles happen.